What's up YouTube, uh, Brad Browning here, back again with another advice video for anyone out there who's trying to get back together with their ex. So that's the situation that you're in right now, then keep watching, uh, because in this video I'm gonna go through four common scenarios that you may face over the next few weeks as you rebuild the connection with your ex. Like I said, I'm Brad Browning. Um, I know you probably already know me, but for any newcomers out there, I'm a breakup coach and author of the best-selling X Factor Breakup Reversal Program. You can watch more of my free videos and register for my program by visiting breakupbrad.com. Okay, let's do this. So scenario number one that you might face, your ex suggests that you should be friends after the breakup. Maybe you've already gone through this. Uh, maybe it's something that you're just waiting and hoping your ex will suggest. Well, let me make a ruling on this one. Um, if your ex wants to maintain a friendship, even though you've broken up, say no. Um, I don't want to repeat myself too many times again here because I've made another video on just this topic. So I'll just say this, um, whether you want your ex back or not, you should not try to be friends for a long time after the breakup. There's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, it brings up all those uh, breakup emotions, sadness, anger, heartache, way more often than is necessary. If you're seeing your ex all the time, it's gonna take longer to get over the breakup. Number two, it puts you in a position um, where you're basically acting as your ex's emotional dumping ground. I mean, do you really wanna hear about the new guy or girl that your ex has been hanging out with? Number three, it gives your ex the chance to, to slowly let go of you instead of forcing them to feel that sudden burst of loneliness and heartbreak that will make them miss you. So uh, don't play along, completely disappear from your ex's life cold turkey. And number four, you're gonna end up being uh, your ex's plan B, a fallback option in case they decide that the, the single life isn't so fun after all. You're basically just handing over all the power to your ex and making yourself look pathetic in the process. So if you're already in the friend zone, um, don't panic. It's a crappy spot to be, but watch my free video at breakupbrad.com um, to learn how to get yourself out of that powerless situation and start rebuilding your ex's attraction so that you can eventually start fresh with them in a new relationship. Scenario number two, um, you're trying to employ the no contact strategy, but you see your ex regularly at work or school. Now this one is super common. Um, you wanna stop talking with your ex, which is the right tactic for almost every breakup, but you have to run into them uh, daily at work or school. So if this does happen to you, um, here's what to do. Number one, make sure any encounters don't get emotional. You know, pretend to be happy and confident, not sad and depressed. Um, don't blast your, your, your emo music and stare into space. Act upbeat as though the breakup was a refreshing wake up call and you're now thriving in your, in your newfound freedom. And if you do have to talk with your ex, keep it brief and just maintain control of the encounter. End the discussion on your terms with some you know, reasonable sounding excuse like, uh, sorry I have to run, meeting a friend for lunch, something like that. And stick to fun, interesting topics and small talk only. Absolutely no drama or discussion about the relationship or the breakup. All right, in scenario number three you might face, um, you did a bunch of stupid stuff already, you know, like begging, pleading, or leaving flowers on your ex's doorstep. Well, that wasn't very smart, was it? Um, don't worry though, uh, all hope is not lost. First, obviously you need to stop doing that kind of thing or eventually you're gonna blow your chances for good. Secondly, uh, immediately begin a period of no contact. Give your ex lots of time and space, preferably for 30 days or, or, or even more in some cases. And if you really made some major mistakes in the time since the breakup, before you found my videos here on YouTube, um, then you'll probably need to send what I call my clean slate email template. It's basically just a message that you send to your ex before or during the no contact phase um, to undo some of the damage that you've already done. You can find more about the, the Clean Slate email on my X Factor program at breakupbrad.com. Or if you need to, to work with me personally, um, you can learn about my one-on-one -on -one coaching service at breakupbrad.com slash coaching. And on to the final scenario number four. Um, your ex is saying weird, hurtful, or confusing things and you have no idea what it means. Look, your ex is going through a breakup too, just like you are. Um, they're naturally gonna be confused and upset at times, um, and like you've maybe already done yourself, he or she might lash out during a particularly emotional moment and later regret it. Um, or maybe they're doing so in the belief that causing you pain is somehow gonna alleviate their own heartache. I know it sucks when this happens, um, but you must absolutely not reply under any circumstances. The only exception is if your ex is getting mad about the lack of response, to which you need to just basically calmly say, sorry, I'm trying to move on and I don't think this kind of thing is gonna help either of us. And what if your ex is sending you know, up and down, hot and cold signals? You know, that they love you and miss you one day, and then later that day they post on Facebook about how they love the freedom of being symbol, single, that kind of thing, you know, the mixed messages. So if your ex is doing that, well, first of all, it's actually usually a good sign 
And secondly, like I just mentioned, um, they are just as confused and emotional as you are right now. So again, ignore these messages and try not to read too much into them. Stick to your game plan, use the strategies that I talk about in my program and hear my videos, and avoid getting sucked into any drama or, or making any mistakes that could damage your, your progress towards getting back together. All right, there you go. Um, you'll probably face at least one of these scenarios at some point, so do keep in mind what I talked about in this video and you'll be able to overcome them without hurting your cause. If you've got comments, feedback, or just a brief question for me, um, feel free to post it in the comments below. I may take a day or two to reply, but I do my absolute best to uh, reply to every comment on one of my videos. And please also consider subscribing to my channel to show your support. I really appreciate it, guys. And that's pretty much it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.